All right, so as the curtain goes up on the music, uh, we just just shiver and paint, okay? Work, work on your painting there. And then, uh, Rodolfo, we don't even know you're there, okay? You're just speaking. So for, those, for people that know La Boheme, and when the curtain goes up, they're sitting there going, why is only one person on stage? <laughs> Yes, 10 minutes <laughs> um, about, about 12 bars in, I'll give you a cue, Andy, so you can, uh, it's after we get that. Yeah. Um, You will stop here. You will step back somewhere in the beginning. We'll find spot where you step back to look at the painting, and then you notice that Rodolfo's not at the time right now. It's almost like before you would notice. The painting's so intended that you didn't see him go over there. So we'll I'll give you the action first, the sequence, and then we'll find the spots in the music where it happens. So you're painting, you're painting, you're painting. You stop back. You look. You see he's not over there. You look at it. You pull this thing out of the typewriter. You hold it up across the room to him. His head pops out under the under the uh, lamp. You look, you look at him and say, "Come on, get back to work." Okay. Right. Then you come over here. On your way, then you come down out of the bed. You know, <clears throat> come over to see what he's doing. Stop. Look at the painting. Turn it upside down. Since he's doing an impressionist painting of the Red Sea, you can't tell what it is. Okay? And, and then, then, then cross over to your typo. <laughs> Thank you. 